us for Sunday worship service with Faith Temple Ndkog, in Warsaw, Virginia. Our pastor is Bishop Forrest Nance Jr. Join us on Zoom every Sunday at 11 a.m. Our Bible studies are, every Wednesday, on Zoom at 7 p.m. Listen on the go on your favorite streaming platforms, available on Spotify, Apple, Google, YouTube, Anchor, Overcast, Spreaker, Good Pods, Radio Public, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Podbean, CastBox, Podacy, and many more. Online giving through Givelify.com. Type in Faith Temple and Cog to donate. Like and subscribe to our Facebook, Instagram, Thread, and Twitter pages at FTNFCOG and our YouTube page at youtube.com slash at FTNFCOG. For more information about Faith Temple National Fellowship Churches of God, you can visit our website at www.ftnfcog.org. Well, praise the Lord. Truly, God is good. We give glory and honor to all the saints and hallelujah. We just want to thank God for this beautiful day. Hallelujah. He brought us a mighty long way. Amen. Give an honor to Elder Wright. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faithful Elder Wright. Amen. Uh, Not to just uh, Faith Temple, but to Nav God. Hallelujah. And to yes. the to God, Amen. Yes. He's a faithful servant. I truly give God and I thank God for Him, Amen. And putting Him in the midst of this vineyard to labor with us, Amen. I thank Him. I know we don't tell Him enough. I really appreciate all that He does. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God for Hallelujah. This has been a trying month, Amen. As we tapered off in September. Amen. And now we're in October. It has been a trying month for uh, us, I would say. Amen. In uh, many ways, it's been a trying month. Hallelujah. But I thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. (laughs) That he he has been with me every step of the way. And I give him all the glory and I give him all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Saints, I, I am truly persuaded that everything that we have one purpose in this world that we live and that is to make it to heaven and i thank and i bless god hallelujah and i believe that god knows controls everything to help us be more like christ so that we can make it into heaven so there are things that's going to come up in our lives Things that's going to happen all around us. And those things are to make us that we show that we are still grounded in the faith. That we still trust in God every step of the way. Hallelujah. So uh, uh, the, the song, old song that saints you sing, Hallelujah in the Hound. And I know my wife and my mom might have heard me humming it. Uh, not I was humming it to myself out there when I was doing things, trying to get and things together, amen. Hallelujah, anyhow, amen. And it says, when life's troubles come your way, hallelujah, hold your head up high and say, yes. hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. Never let your problems get you down. When life problems come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. Never let your problems get you down. When life problems come your way, Hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Glory, hallelujah. Isn't God good? Hallelujah. He is, he is a wonderful yeah. God. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God I can, I can go through this and trusting him every step of the way. Hallelujah. 
God is so awesome. He's so loving. His, his, his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever I find myself, where we find ourselves in, whatever situation, whatever's going on, we can know that God is there with us, carrying us through, bringing us, hallelujah, teaching us, molding and shaping us to be more like Jesus Christ. Amen. And, I, hallelujah. and in this process, we have the choice. We have a free will. We can say, yes, Lord, or we, say, we can say, nah, I, I'm going to throw my hand in. I'm going to trust in my devices. I'm going to trust in man's ways. Uh, uh, when we do that, uh, we're, we're letting God go, and we got to, hallelujah, come to ourselves, amen, and realize that God is in control, and we have got to be molded to look more like Jesus than what we are today. And that's all done by faith. Faith. Hallelujah. Faith. Uh, let me read this scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Before I get to talking, I'm rambling, going on. Amen. I'm coming out of Galatians this morning. God dropped this in my spirit. Amen. I was seeking what we're going to say. And I wanted the uplifting. I wanted a message that we'd be shouting and praising God. Amen. But hallelujah. And then God let me know. You can shout praise on anything in my word. Hallelujah. You can shout and praise about anything in his word. Amen. His word is good. His word is life. And we can get his word in us. Uh, there's a praise. Hallelujah. There's a praise that will come up out the end on the bitter pits of your belly. Hallelujah. That you can read the scriptures and praise God. Hallelujah. For correction. Praise God for reproof. Praise God, hallelujah, for his word. Amen. Let me read this scripture, amen. Hallelujah. I'm Galatians, the second chapter, starting at verse number 20. Paul is writing this to the uh, Galatians, but hallelujah, but it's for us today also, amen. Galatians is a nation, amen, a country, not a little church. Amen. So he's writing this to a country. Hallelujah. We can apply this word to us in this time now. Paul said in verse 20, he says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. Uh, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Life out of death. Life out of death, saints. Hallelujah would be what we are talking about and we want to make sure hallelujah our life that we died to this life hallelujah hallelujah that we can have the life that god has promised us amen father god i truly give you the glory and all the praise this morning i stand before your people hallelujah thanking you god hallelujah giving you all the glory and all the praise you are worthy to be praised, thank God, hallelujah. We thank you, God, hallelujah, for this uh, technology of Zoom that we can talk to many people, not just to one or two that's in this room, but we can talk to, hallelujah, word, uh, anybody that comes on the internet, Lord. We just thank you for this technology. We thank you, God, hallelujah, that you're making a way for us to preach and teach and live your word. Ha, my God, I give you the glory and all the praise, Lord. You know what's going on in this world. You know what the end result is, Father. We don't know. So, so we look to you, God. Hallelujah. We look to you as our keeper. We look to you as our God. We look to you as our Father. Ha, the almighty 
God, the all should die. Father, we thank you this morning, hallelujah, for giving us life this morning. We thank you for our leaders, Apostle Grant, hallelujah, uh, all the leaders of NAF, God, Father God, uh, uh, Father, the elders, the members of the congregations, Father, we just thank you for how you put it all together, how you established us, Lord, in this world, Lord, to teach and preach your word. Father, we thank you for healing, God. Oh, God, right now, Lord, we ask you that you preach in your word and minister to your people, Father. Strengthen their faith. Let them know that, they, hallelujah, you said, you said there's a promise that you they are healed by his stripes. Hallelujah. And we thank you for that. Let us, Lord, learn to apply your word in our situation, God. Let us learn, Lord, to trust you in every Everything that we do, Father, we truly, God, ask you now, Lord, to move, Lord. There's hate going all around this world now, Father God. Everybody is just talking about this is wrong and that is right and this is right and that is wrong. Father God, we just turn to you, God. We are your children. We are the ones called by your name. We are trusting in you, Father, and we ask you, Lord, to strengthen us, Lord. Let us take our minds off of what we see, God, but looking up unto you. You, God, which come with our help, trusting you, God, that you're going to make a way, Father, that you're going to protect us, Lord. You're going to put us under your feathers, Lord. We're going to have comfort there, God. We're going to abide in the shadow of your Lord. We're going to dwell in the secret place, Father. Oh, God, we thank you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Heal bodies right now, God. Bring them out of this situation and let them learn what they went through, Father God, and give you the glory and all the praise, Father. Teach your word, just preach your word this morning, God. Oh, Spirit of the living God, have your way in this vessel, Lord, that we teach your word, preach your word this morning, Father God. Oh, God, hallelujah. Someone will cry out, what must I do be to say? Some will come back from their repentant ways, God, and repent, God, from their sinful ways, God. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. We praise your holy name. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless right now, God. Bless right now, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We truly thank God. Hallelujah this morning, saints. I can't thank him enough. I can't praise him enough. I understand when David said, if I had a thousand tongues, hello, I could not praise you enough. Amen. If I had a thousand tongues, I could not thank God enough for what he's doing in my life and in, hallelujah, and how he takes care of the saints of God. Amen. God is good to us. Amen. Hallelujah. He kept us. I believe there's nothing God won't do for his people. Amen. Nothing he won't do and work things out because his word says so. That's what I believe because God's word says so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're in a time in this world, saints, everything seems like it's going wrong. I said earlier, hate is going around the world. Amen. Right here in this country, hallelujah, we have uh, so much hatred for this sect and for that sect and for the uh, people and lifestyles. Uh, we, we, we hate when things don't go our way. Uh, we frown up or we dislike because somebody doesn't want to do this and doesn't do want to do that because we think, hallelujah, that they should do it this way and they should do it that way and they should not be doing it. And uh, we have animosity to people, amen, people uh, just want to kill, hallelujah, and just kill. We know that Hamas now is uh, an Israel at war. Amen. Hallelujah. One has done this and one has done that uh, to do this, to instigate this, and we blame that one. We blame this. Amen. But I thought when the time I look back in the word of God, and I believe the Bible say, tells me that God raised up the King Cyrus, Hey, man, back in the Old Testament to, hallelujah, to come against Israel. Hey, Amen. That's uh, what I'm trying to lean toward is that God is in control. Hey, Amen. If he can rise up King Cyrus, hey, amen, to destroy Israel, hey, amen, God can raise up Hamas. God can raise up terrorists. God can raise up anything uh, 
hallelujah, to get people to recognize that he is God and they need to turn their way, turn their ways back to him. Amen. Uh, God is in control. He was in control then and he's in control now. He raised up Cyrus. Cyrus did what he wanted and then he destroyed King Cyrus. Amen. He's sovereign. God is sovereign. The same thing happens now. Hallelujah. But the key thing is we have to hold on to what the word says. Hallelujah. We got to trust the word of God for our lives. Hallelujah. Uh, we can't get caught up in the world and what the world is doing and the ways of the world. Amen. That will cause us to start being like the world and acting like the world and drifting away from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Paul here in uh, Galatians is, 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 is giving an illustration. Amen. He's came he, in chapter two. He, 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 He's coming against Peter. He's telling a story uh, where he came against Peter because Peter uh, was wishy-washy. Uh, when he's around the Gentiles, he uh, did what the Gentiles did. When he was around the Jews, uh, he shied away from the Gentiles and hung with the, the Jews. Amen. Uh, uh, so he was a, and he's caused saints to drift away with him by his actions. Amen. And Paul is calling him and calling him out. Amen. He said, that was wrong. I confronted Peter front to head, uh, uh, face to face. Amen. To tell him he's wrong. I mean, you got the, 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 you, the Bible tells us there's no difference. Uh, once uh, you don't have to be circumcised, you got to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You can't just um, be wishy-washy here and be there and do this and that. Uh, that's in the world. We see that in the churches now or in this world now i want to say it in god's church hallelujah because god's church is special to him but we see it in this world right now people are well it's all right to sin when the sinners come around hey man when when the saints come around it's all right we gotta act like we're holy now we gotta do it this way and they put on a show throughout this world hey man and nobody is stable Hey, hallelujah. And Paul is pointing these things out. Hallelujah. Uh, you can't be um, backsliding here and then think everything's going to be all right when you come around the saints. Hallelujah. Uh, there, there was ceremonial laws going on. Paul tried to tell them, you can't be uh, under the law here and then uh, be out of the law over here. Hallelujah. It's not by works. It's by faith. Everything is done. Hallelujah. And we got to know that we are the children of the living God. And we have to stand and trust that God is in control. And everything is going to be right. Well, why did the babies have to die? Why did all the, the innocent people have to die? Hallelujah. God is sovereign. Hallelujah. God knows everything. God sees everything. It's a reason by God, by God things. God, remember, God tells us in his word, I'm, I, I, my ways aren't like your ways. My thoughts aren't like your thoughts. Amen. Hallelujah. So you, we got to yield to God's way. Hallelujah. Never question God. Hallelujah. And, and this is what Paul is trying to tell the saints because the saints wanted to go back to Judaism. And then they wanted to do, do, do this to do under the law, do these works, do this, do this, do that. And Paul is trying to tell them, Paul, Peter, you can't tell them to do that and then do this. You can't have the Gentiles try to conform to the ways of the Jews. Hallelujah. And and then and then you say, say it's all right to live with the, to do the things of the Gentiles. And those are the things that Paul is trying to also. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to tell you today that we have to stand for holiness. We have to stand for sanctification. We have to stand, hallelujah, for what the word of God says, hallelujah. But see, you can't stand unless you have died. You can't hold on to the promises of God unless you have died. Ray has died, hallelujah. Forrest Ray Nance Jr. has died, hallelujah. And when I die, my ways die, hallelujah. In Romans 6, can we continue in sin? Can 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 you if you're dead to sin, how can you continue in sin? And that's what we have to realize, hallelujah, that in this world today, there's challenges to us to come and be like the world, do the things of the world. And we and the world is saying the Bible, the word of God does not apply to nowadays. If you uh, I think the quote was uh, if a, a man slap you, now you got you gotta defend yourself. Those the scripture does not apply. 
little bits and pieces that pick out of the scriptures that it doesn't apply today. But I'm telling you, saints, the word still applies. Hallelujah. Uh, the challenges we have as saints of God that who have been born again, hallelujah, it, the word says, love your enemies. Hallelujah. Be merciful. Hallelujah. Those things, hallelujah, key things, hallelujah, that guides us to have faith that God is in control, that God is molding and shaping us to be more like Jesus. Hallelujah. This world is, is going to pass away. Hallelujah. But my trust is in God that he's going to raise me up if I die before Jesus comes. But if he does, if, he, if I don't die, when he cracks the sky, I'm going to be caught up with him. Hallelujah. That's my faith is in that. Not in who's in charge of here, who's got this going on over there, and that happened over there. I got to trust what the word of God says. So I have got to die. And there's a new way. The new way is the spirit, the faith is in Christ that he rose and sacrificed his life for me that I could live. I can't compromise that for the world. I just thought about James. Oh, in the book of James, James said, what is it? Uh, we're like a man standing in a mirror. Gets all right. And then he walks away from the mirror and forgot what it looks like. Huh? What is it? Children of God. We can't just stand in the word, uh, look in the mirror on Sundays and on Wednesdays. When you go around people, you can't uh, just put on a show, I look good. No, no, no. When you walk away, you forget what you have because you have not meditated in this word. You now have not studied this word. You can't stick with you if it ain't in you. Hallelujah. What the word said, what you enjoy doing. <laughs> you enjoy sinning, it's going, if it's in you, it's going to continue in you because you're not dying. You haven't died to sin yet. You enjoy the things of the world. This world is in trouble. But we know it's got to go through these things because then that's when Christ is going to come back. It tells us beware of rumors of wars. It tells us these things are going to come to pass. It's going to be a great falling away. It tells us all those things. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, we got to realize that this is going to come to pass. I got to hold on to God. I have died. Paul says, I am crucified with Christ. Crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, <laughs> yet not me, <laughs> but Christ liveth in me. How do Christ live in us? Because of how we have changed, we are born again. The spirit of God molds and shapes us, leads and guides us to all truth, shows what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. That's what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Paul says, I, but, but, but Christ lived in me, the life which I now live, listen to the saints, I live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God. I live by the faith of the Son of God. I live, hallelujah, by the faith of the Son of God. That is a great thing, hallelujah. Challenges, trouble comes our way, it's faith. You live by faith, you got to trust God. You sick. You say you sick. By faith in Jesus Christ, what he said, you are healed. You sick. I got symptoms. You healed. Ah, things come in my life. Situations arise. God said what? And his word says, I bring it up. I, I'm there with you every step of the way. I'm going to make a way for you. God says all this. His word says, by faith in the Son of God. I live by faith in the Son of God. He gave me life. I'm a new creature. Old things have passed away. Hey, my Lord, my God. What does Psalm 91? I'll tell you, uh, that, that Psalm has been sticking with me since uh, um, um, back, before, back before the pandemic hit. Amen. Hallelujah. God promises long life. Hallelujah. If you just hold on to him. Hallelujah. But we get out and we think we've grown. Hallelujah. And, we, and we're not grown. Hallelujah. 
Hey, my God, he just, and, and, um, in the word of God. God is in control. So if my faith is in the Son of God, I live by the faith in the Son of God. Hallelujah. I can dwell in the secret place of the Most High because I meditate in his word. I look at his word. I study his word. I read his word. I put my mind, I want my mind to be renewed by the word of God. Hallelujah. So that I can, my God, hallelujah, dwell in the secret place of the Most High. So can I abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Hey, my God, hallelujah. The Lord, my God, hallelujah, hallelujah. He, he, he is my ref fortress. He is my refuge. In him will I, my God, in him will I trust. These things got to be resonating in you. These things have got to be your nature now, not your sex, something you fall back on. This has to become you. This is what Paul is trying to say. I, I can't. Dwell and be a wishy-washy saint. I got to tell people what it says. I Not in just my talk, but it's in the way that I live. How, the Bible tells me one thing. I just, well, I was doing something this uh, last through this uh, week. And the Bible said, told me, the Lord, the Spirit of God brought the back of Scripture said, ye that know to do good <laughs> and do and not do it is a sin. Hallelujah. You know to love your enemy. You know to work things out for him. You know to go the extra mile. You know things that the word of God says. Uh, I have to do it. Well, how can I do it? Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh, my God. So how am I going to do this? Through Christ who strengthens me. The word of God gives us life. The word of God changes his old nature. You don't get mad at this situation. You trust God. I'm going to love my enemies. Yeah, faith in the Son of God, hallelujah. Sure, if he's your refuge, if he's your fortress, in him will you trust? What did, what did the psalm the writer now want to say? Surely, surely he will deliver me from the fowls of the, the snare of the fowler. Amen. Surely whatever trap the enemy had laid for me, whatever device the enemy had put out there, surely he will deliver me from that. Hallelujah. And the, you know some pestilence. He will deliver me. He will deliver you because I don't live by raised nature. I live by faith in the Son of God who died for me that I could have life. My God, hallelujah. Uh, so when you get to working in your faith, hallelujah, you, I got these symptoms. It don't say, say, I have symptoms all the time of this and all that, but I don't speak nothing out of my mouth. I hold it into myself. I start quoting the scriptures, hallelujah. This is my life now. My faith is in Jesus. Not in this world. My, if I went to see a good checkup from the doctor, nothing wrong with donor doctors. Nothing wrong. But my faith is in God. The Son of God. Paul states, I understand all that. Y'all can come against me. Y'all can say all you want to, me, but my faith is in the Son of God who died for me that I could have life. So, yes, I don't want to see raiding no more. I don't want to be in this nature, raised nature no more. I want to be walking in the Son of God's nature. I want to be led by the Spirit of God. I want to trust God. My God, hallelujah. And when, when, and when, and one point in the, the, the scripture, the, the, the psalm where it said, hallelujah, God, I, I love him. God, let, me, let me read that because I want just I want y'all to, to see that, hallelujah. 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 Uh, then verse in 9, 91 and 9, it says, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even in the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thee. My God, now thy dwelling. Hallelujah. See, this is the word. You got to believe what God is saying. Because thou has made the Lord, <laughs> my God, hallelujah, even the most high, thy habitation. Uh, my God, therefore, no evil shall befall thee, go no come to nigh thy habitation. These little things are not evil. These little challenges in life are not evil. There's something you just got to work through. How are you going to handle your situation? Are you trusting God or are you going to trust yourself? Or are you going to trust man? 
or you're going to trust this one, or you're going to trust that one. I, I'm going to trust in God. He is where my habitation is. I'm trusting God. And because, hallelujah, I love him, because I know uh, his name, my God, he will answer me. I believe in him. He comes through. He delivers for me. He's there for me. So Paul saying, uh, a church, that we got to have faith. We got to die to ourselves. Y'all have heard this message many a time. You got to die to ourselves. Your old way of doing things. And then you should have life. I have peace now. I go to sleep and have peace. I don't have to worry. I don't worry about this. And I don't worry. When I first got, I had this stroke that I had, uh, the enemy kept coming back to me and said, you're going to have another one. You're going to die. You're going to have to watch yourself. You're going to have another stroke out here in the yard or doing whatever you're doing. You're going to die. You get a headache. You're having a brain aneurysm. You 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 you, you, you got blurred vision. You, you get a head and a stroke. These are things, thoughts are compounding in my mind. How, what's going on? My flesh, my nature, my sin nature is telling me all these things. It get me what? Just start listening to those and start reacting in fear. Well, I cast out fear because the word of God says he casted out fear and didn't give me the spirit of fear no more, but gave me the spirit of love and peace. Saints, we got to trust God, the word of God. If it says it, we got to believe it. It's simple to trust God and believe God. But we don't want to come out of sin. That's why in the Corinthians, Paul says, hallelujah, you got to pull down those strongholds. There's strongholds in your nature that's holding on that don't want to let go. And we have to, got to pull those strongholds down because our weapons are not cardinal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. My God. Casting down imaginations, these tosses in your mind. Ah, uh, this this happened to that person. It's gonna happen to me. This that person got sick. I gotta get sick. Ah, uh, this disease going around. Ah, uh, it's gonna come. No, it doesn't. I have a word of God says it's not gonna come near me, nigh my dwelling. Hallelujah. That where I dwell, it's not. I trust the word of God. My faith, as Paul says, is in what? The Son of God. My life is in the Son of God. That's why I told a long time ago, if it doesn't, if an insect doesn't bite Jesus, it shouldn't be biting me. And I believe that. These things are down here on earth for our pleasure. That's what the word of God tells me. Everything was made for his pleasure. Thou made everything for his pleasure. Pleasure is not having things bite on you. Pleasure is not that. Then it's going contradictory to the word. And when it's contradictory to the word, it must be a lie. It, some, somebody told me. But the word tells me that I have died to that and I'm a new creature. Hallelujah. And there's new things happening. There's new accesses to me. I have access to this and now I won't have access to that. Because when I do what God has provided me, I'd rather have what God provides me when God provides it to me, then to have it too soon, to have something that's going to draw me back to my natural, to my sin nature. Paul said, I got trust, I, I trust in, my faith is in the Son of God. My faith is in God, who died for me. He brought me out. I was dying in sin and didn't know it. Many of us are just going on in life have not committed our lives to Christ, sitting up in the church, going to Bible studies, and, 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 and roll our eyes at another saint, or talk bad about another saint. The Bible said, don't talk about your leaders. You don't know what's going on. You have no control of what's going on. But you got to pray. That's the difference that we have. Jesus had all the authority and could have rose up against Pilate. But he said, oh, man, you don't know, you don't know who I am, man. man I, I, could, I could call right now, huh, an angel right now, and, and deliver me. But I trust in God, my father. 
and I got to come through where he told me to go. No matter what, I'm trusting him. Hallelujah. And I'm going to believe in him. And that's what Paul is trying to tell the church. Don't let uh, uh, these, these people persuade you to continue in sin. Y'all know we, we talked about this, I think, a long time ago. There is, uh, it's funny how uh, people uh, that's not saved can cause the saved folk and change their behavior faster than the saved folk can, can change the unsaved behavior. Their draws right on in. And the reason they draw us in and cause us to do things that we know is wrong is because we don't have the word of God in us. We have meditated on it. We stand in the mirror, looks good, and we walk away and forget what you look like in the mirror or who you're supposed to be in the mirror. Amen. So we got to tighten this shit up. We got to start meditating in this world, especially in these times that we live. Especially, hallelujah, now the world needs to see Jesus. They don't need to uh, be talking about talking down to him. They need to see it in our lives. They need to see Christ, hallelujah, walking. We need to see, see somebody living the word of God. And the only way they can see that is we have to have the word of God in us and we have to die that we can have life. Die so that we can have life. There's life out of death. Life can come out of death. Remember the parable about the corn. Unless a grain of corn dies, it cannot produce an ear corn. It has to die. It has to rot. It has to die so that it can give life. Once the seed dies, it decays. Then the seed that's inside of it can flourish. Once we die, and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, hallelujah, and, and have been born again, then the seed of life can come out of us. Then we can have fruit. They say, well, uh, uh, nobody's judged me, amen. I'm not trying to judge nobody, but I'm just trying to tell you, if you will be a, uh, a righteous tree, it should be some righteousness being fruit, being buried by that tree. In other words, if it's a pear tree, pears should be growing on it, not peaches. If it's an apple tree, <laughs> apples should be growing on it and not plums. If we are the trees of righteousness, then righteousness should be, we should be bearing fruit of righteousness. If we believe in holiness, we should be holy for our God is holy. In these times, this world challenges. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's going to challenge the faith, just as it did back in the in the first uh, century church. It challenges them. They stood. Paul, Paul, and all the other apostles had to stand on this word and trust in this word. Yeah. Paul said, "I'm dying, but I live. I live because Christ lives in me." And I do that because I have faith in the Son of God who died, who loved me, and gave his life for us. That's who we, that's what we are. This world is, 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 is destruction all around us. But I have life. I have life promised to me. I have things that God has blessed me and he's continued to bless me because I trust God. What, 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 why do you think we have to go through things to make us better? Uh, there's no food on the table. No food in the refrigerator. I ain't no money in my bank account. I have faith in God. He said he opened the windows of heaven. Pour our blessings upon you. He said he load benefits up with you. Every morning he loaded you up with benefits. This is my God. This is my Father. This is the Almighty God. The El Shaddai. He is in control, and I'm trusting him for everything. The world say, well, you got this, and this ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. 
Every time they tell me something that uh, it ain't going to happen, God turns around and make it happen. <laughs> I trust, man, God is just gossiping to me. He, 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 he never fails. He never fails. But I got to have life out of death. Life comes out of death, saints. We got to die. We got to die. And it's the hardest thing to die. But we got to give up the thing. When sickness come your way, <laughs> hallelujah, just say, ah, oh, ain't got no sickness here, here. I ain't got nothing. I got this thing, my, my, I, got a, I got this going on, but uh, ain't, I ain't sick. I ain't got that. I don't care what your symptoms is. Uh, I might have the same symptoms. But I ain't got it. I don't speak it out of my mouth. I don't even act like I got it. Why? Because I trust God. But his word can, if we use his word, his word will take care of us. And trust in his word. That's the chain. <laughs> Everybody gets old. Everybody gets old. We're all going to die. The physical death. Things get old. Things don't work like they used to work. But I trust God. If my God can bring a violent dry bones back to life and they become an army, cause bone to go to bone, cause skin to come on the bone, cause the brain to be put back in the skull, Cause the eyes to be put back in place. <laughs> Cause all the blood vessels to be restored back to where they were. When it was just a valley of dry bones. Put life in them. Hallelujah. Surely. Surely. He can fix these knees. He can cause me to get up every morning. Amen. And say hallelujah. He can restore my eyesight. He can restore my hearing. He can restore whatever is getting old and decaying. He's God. But do I have the faith to believe it? Do we have the faith to believe it? That's our challenge. That's why Paul said we walk the just walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. We, we, we believe in God. We believe God's word. And that's what we have to do in these times. Trouble all around us. But we have a word that tells us it ain't going to happen here. Can we stand on his word? Hallelujah. And believe that God is God. We can't be wishy-washy saints. What the Bible says, the Bible says, double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. All his ways. Hallelujah. We got to get stable. We got to die. That life can flourish, that we can bring forth fruit to our God. It ain't about, I've learned, and I'm pretty sure most of y'all, it ain't learn, it ain't about going to church every Sunday. It ain't about going to Bible study every Bible study class, or running over here and running over there, and running over here and running over there. It ain't about all that. It's about do you have Christ? In you do, you, do you have the power of the Holy Ghost ministering to your life? And are you bearing fruit for God? That's what matters. Yeah, you just said dwell in, is it good for us to dwell in fellowship, dwell, in, dwell together, eh, not forsaken. It does tell us all that. But my faith, my uh, belief is not in just going to church. There's a lot of people just going to church punching a ticket. Oh, I'm there. And they don't know no reason. They don't know why they came to church. I just came because there were people say I should do. To be a good citizen, I go to church. To look uh, to be a good citizen, I go to Bible study. In my community, all of us go to this one church. But we don't have no reason. Why, what, what about God? Um, Preacher, that's preaching responsibility. Well, you got to live this word, saints. If you're born again, and if you're not, it's always God forgive me. And God forgives. 
that Paul said, I'm not going to um, trust in bedside salvation. <laughs> I wouldn't trust in that either. What say you're going to be conscious when you pass away? Bedside salvation. Uh, that's too much of a gamble for me. Uh, I believe I, I ain't going to take that gamble because I don't want to be internal, be in hell. Thank you, brother saints. The scripture says the righteous are scarcely going to make it in. When I read that scripture and think on that scripture, am I doing everything I'm supposed to be doing? It's scarcely making it in. That means you might not make it all that you're doing for 30 years and you won't make it in. Scarcely make it in. Coming back for a church without wrinkle, spot, or wrinkle. And y'all know we eat. And, and we we got napkins and everything else all around us on our clothes. But some kind of spot got there. Through the napkins and handkerchiefs and everything else, a spot ends up on your dress, uh, shirt or blouse. How did that spot get there? I have, huh? Without spot or wrinkle, he's coming back for a church. Without spot or wrinkle. He don't want to hear about that. I, I, I had some, no, 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 no. You got to be holy. You got to be sanctified. You got to be a, a child of the living God according to this word of God. You got to live it. Die that you can have life. Death is in death. Going to give way to life. Praise God, saints. Praise God. I truly thank God. I hope y'all received uh, what God wanted. Amen. Uh, we got to trust him. Faith in the Son of God. Amen. And it's never too late to say, cry out to God. Hallelujah. Never too late to repent. Hallelujah. And accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And seek for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Who, oh my God. That's the power. Not to not, not, not speak in tongues, but the power to be able to live according to his word of God. That's why he told us the, the disciples, go and stay there till you've been endured with power. It's going to take power of the Holy Ghost. My God, it's going to take power to keep you on track. Because these things are here, out here tipping. Praise God. Anyway, amen. Uh, 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 we truly thank God for y'all listening today. Amen. Don't forget uh, Saints. Uh, fifth Sunday will be in uh, St. Joseph and Eastern Shore. Hallelujah. That's my plan. <laughs> and what I've learned in October, I can have a whole lot of plans. <laughs> and things don't work out that way. So I'm going to trust God. Hallelujah. I think that's what Pastor Paul said. If it's the Lord's will. If it's the Lord's will. And if God enabled me to be there. I'm going to be there for the fifth Sunday. Amen. So uh, make sure that we are, uh, if you're going, I know me and my wife plan on going, and we're going to be able to try to leave out of here sometime because uh, it's a three and a half hour ride. We're going to try to leave here around eight. But, you know, we stop, do this, do this, but we all older and can continue to drive straight through like our young elder right can. He can, he can get on and get it going by the business. We, he has to you know, have patience with elder people. <laughs> elder right. Amen. So that's, don't forget that innocent. And uh, and then we're into the holidays, saints. We're into the holidays. Hallelujah. We're uh, uh, coming on Thanksgiving and, and December. Uh, this is a bad month. And, uh, I always say this is a bad month. If I got saved, Amen. Because the demons all run around think they're in charge of things around right here. Amen. Because <laughs> they, they want to celebrate evil and horror and all the things. But anyway, praise God. If there's no other questions, I'm going to, uh, no matter comments or anybody question about anything, I'm going to ask Elder Wright to close us out. Amen. Amen. Father God, we just thank you again for your word, Father. God, this is not let us be hearers, but let us be doers, Father. We thank you again for the encouragement that you have given to us through our reading, Father. We ask you to 
Bless him and strengthen him, O God, and continue to touch his body. God, continue to touch his hands and the work that you have for him to do. God, we glorify you. We honor you, O God. O God, to be again, Father, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.